hi guys what's up welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel this video is not going to be the most pleasant okay this is serious and it's scary to say the least so obviously from the title this video is a little crazy but it was shocking to me as well so I don't know if y'all know or knew this, didn't know. I used to live in California for about two years, a little more than two years. Um, went to school there, cheerleading there, etc., etc. And when I was there, um, I took these surfing, like I just went surfing, right? It's what you do when you're in California. So then I saw this post, I was just scrolling on Instagram, and I saw this post from Six Buzz, I think it was. It was like, California man murdered his kids, I'll put it right here put it right here so I saw that I was like what that's crazy and then I like go look it up and then in the news video it said this man from California Santa Barbara and then they explained that he did surfing lessons and then I was like surfing lessons in Santa Barbara that's where I took my surfing lessons <laughs> And of course, I didn't really remember the guy that taught him. I was just like, that's too much of a coincidence because surfer surfing lessons don't usually surf, like they don't, they're not always on the same turf. Like, yes, there's lots of surfing in, Cal in Santa Barbara, but like, come on, you know, they're not going to be like thousands of surfing instructors. So I went back to my old YouTube video, which I do have up of the surfing and I'm going to play it. Do not come for me on how I look because it's not about that but you know to be fair I look miserable and not the happiest in these videos because to say the least I did not know I was going surfing my mom does this thing where she just surprises you and doesn't tell you what you're doing that day and I didn't want to say no because well I didn't want to tell her why I didn't want to go but basically it was my time of month you guys and she surprised me with surfing and these are the type of things that I'm like, why don't you ask me before you just sign me up? And I was like, no, I just, I don't feel like going. And she forced me to do it. She's like, oh, you paid for it. This and that made me feel guilty. So I did it. So I don't look the happiest. I would have had a lot more fun if she would have asked me when I wanted to do it. But it was a good time. It was fun. But I would have had a better time, obviously, if I would have known. Anyway, so then I look at the videos. Girl, my hair is the mess. Anyway, not the point. But... The guy, you can barely see the instructor's face because I didn't want to put him in there. Put him in there. Like, I didn't, I'm not trying to get other people's faces. Like, that's kind of rude. Um, but the hat, the hat is literally the same hat, you guys. Ayo and baby daughter Roxy, my treasures, he called them. In another post, he writes, thanking God for these three. Coleman also ran a popular surf school in Santa Barbara. There he is just a month ago teaching his three-year-old how to surf. Baby steps, he happily wrote. But everything took a horrific turn when Matthew Coleman's wife called Santa Barbara police and reported that her husband had suddenly driven away from their home without telling her where he was going. And he had their two children with him. Chills. And the fact, like, it's obviously him. And I think his name's Chris. And, I, like, the name, like, sounds so familiar. I was like, that's him. That is him. Like, that is the instructor. And... It's crazy to think that I was literally, like, he literally was, you know, helping you surf, right? So they, like, push you. He, like, holds on to you until you stand up to get up there, right? Because you're, like, a beginner. You can't really paddle yourself. It's just crazy. Like, California is crazy. But to think that you were with someone that seemed like such a nice guy. Like, they seem like they're having such a nice life, you know, with a kid surfing business. And Santa Barbara is beautiful. Like, Santa Barbara is amazing. It's so nice. So, it's just, when I saw that, it was just, like, scary. Chills. Probably had, like, um, mental issues or something. But I, that's just crazy. And I just feel so awful for the mother and the kids. 
like that they had to go through that so it's just a really bad situation but obviously i'll let the news um channel say what it was about but yeah if you want to look into it more you can but yeah that was my surfing instructor crazy yeah so i just thought i would share that video with you guys just now be careful who you choose as a partner i know you can never predict it like i don't even want to say that i don't i'm not even gonna say be careful because how would she know you wouldn't know anybody can at any time go crazy like you know it's just it's sad it's a sad situation so just crazy to think that i was like that close like literally touching it like literally same water same you know area just crazy you would never think that so yeah you already know um if you like this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Ocal dad, famous for his surf school, is accused of murdering his two young kids, stabbing them to death, and dumping their bodies in Mexico. It's a disturbing crime that has shocked communities from Santa Barbara to Rosarita, Mexico. David, it's a gruesome cr crime, and tonight we have new surveillance camera footage that shows the man entering the hotel with his two children and then leaving without them. A Santa Barbara man, Matt Taylor Coleman, is now facing serious charges in the U.S. and Mexico after a grisly discovery along a scenic road linking Tijuana and Ensenada. That's where a Mexican farm worker found pools of blood and the bodies of two babies in diapers, both stabbed to death. That farm worker quickly calling the police. The murdered toddlers, a one-year-old and three-year-old, are the children of Matt Taylor Coleman, who, along with his wife, Abby Coleman, run the Love Water Surf School in Santa Barbara. The popular surfing school's website features photos of the entire Coleman family.